G'day, Stu from UAV Futures and welcome back to another flight tips video. So in this one, we're going to talk about the importance of what flight mode that you actually fly in. Of acro mode or rate mode, so that's sort of no uh, self-stabilization there, no self-leveling, and why that's good when you want to become a good pilot. What acro mode or rate mode, as some people call it, actually is, it means it has no self-leveling properties in the flight controller. So if you're staying at this orientation and you let go of the sticks or the controls, it's going to continue at that orientation. Whereas a self-leveling mode, if you're flying forwards and then you let go of the sticks, it's going to correspond to that. Now angle and horizon mode are great when you first start out, because if you can freak out, you can just let go of the sticks and it will automatically self-level and hover just there but they're not the best. You want to switch off them as fast as you can. This is some very early footage, some of the first times that I went out and actually did some flying. Uh, not many people have seen this stuff, but this is flying with self-leveling mode on, and you'll notice that it's bobbling around a whole bunch. So it's not nearly as smooth or as fluid as it could be, um, and I wish I switched over to Acro sooner. So two weeks was more, two or three weeks is more than enough. After that, definitely get out and start practicing that Acro. And why would you want to make the transition to acro mode? Now, acro mode is so much better for racing and those sort of fluid movements. You don't have to fight the flight controller for uh, control and those precise movements. And you don't have a constant bobble as well when you're flying around. So acro mode is definitely what most people fly after they've been flying for a while. All right, now some of the best advice I can give you. Yes, it's very easy to start flying in a self-leveling mode when you first start out, but you want to switch over to acro as soon as you can. And the reason being, if you fly for too long in a self-stabilization uh, sort of mode, it's going to be very difficult to switch off. So it's going to be like training wheels that you're going to be, you're going to have to fly with. Now I know for about the first two weeks that I was flying around, I was using a uh, horizon mode or the self-leveling mode. And it was fantastic and I felt like I was kind of getting the hang of flying and I was having heaps of fun and when I tried to switch over to acro mode it was like starting all over again and it was so hard. So here's some tips uh, to make the transition to acro mode that little bit smoother because it's really important you try and get off them as quick as you can. Set aside a session where you're really going to practice flying in that acro mode. So fly around, set nothing but acro mode for five or six batteries and if you really have to go back to a self-leveling mode because you just want to have a bit of fun, make sure you save it to your last battery and you'll be surprised how weird it feels switching back to that sort of self-stabilization mode. Another reason you might want to fly acro too is because it actually makes racing easier. If you've lined something up and you're steering, uh, steering towards a small gap or a gate and you're already on the perfect angle having the perfect speed, you don't want to have to hold that stick forward and concentrate on that the whole time. With acro mode, you, it'll just keep that orientation and all you have to focus on then will be your throttle and uh, your yaw movement, say if you're heading for a gate. But with self-leveling mode, you'd have to be uh, always pushing that stick forward a little bit further as well. If you're doing some nice big slow flips and rolls and things like that, uh, some of those self-leveling modes that can really make those acrobatics very difficult. And in nice banked turns or sharp turns as well, you don't want to be using a self-level mode because it's going to be fighting your quad the whole time. So acro mode is definitely the way to go. Uh, everybody I know flies it and it's definitely what all the pros will use. Self-leveling is great to start out with, but switch, off, switch it off as quickly as you can because once you start flying acro, you'll never go back. You'll find acro mode is a bit better for your craft as well in your battery because it's not speeding up and slowing down the ESCs and motors so much trying to keep it level. It can just hold its sort of natural line. All right, that's just a quick tip for today for all those new flyers out there. Uh, subscribe for more FPV related content and as always, happy flying. All right, so this is a bit of behind the scenes. Uh, look at the mess that I seem to be making in my tiny little house. So there is junk. Not junk, all this awesome quad stuff, but literally taking over my house. So yeah, everything's been sort of pushed to the side. Totally worth it. Alright, happy flying!